Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And today we're, I'm taking a bus tour through the city of Huey, which is a ways north of Da Nang. And behind me is a map of the city. And we're going to concentrate on that big square in the middle, which is Imperial Huey. That's it right there. Here's the city park. This is a huge commercial area right across the street from that city park I showed you. And this is the entrance gate to the Imperial Square. It looks like a big castle with a moat around it. Like your typical castles have moats. You can see there where it goes around it. So look at all these people going in the gates there. This is the other side of the bridge and private businesses there I think. I'm inside the gates there. A lot of motorbike parking here <laughs> and look at these cannons. One, two, three, four cannons. The guide said that's called the Citadel. And look at this huge courtyard. And then there's another entrance over here. That's to the center of the square. There's a courtyard and <laughs> look at this. Wow. Just a sea of motorbikes. <laughs> nice flowers they got here. The center of the courtyard is all tiles. So now this is where I'm going. And it is also surrounded by a moat. Although that's not much of a moat in <laughs> that entrance. And here's the corner of the courtyard with that building. So now I'm inside the second entrance. There's a nice pose. <laughs> Ooh, look at all the koi. Whatever it is, it looks mean. what is inside that building. There was really not much to see inside there. I just took one quick video because they have a no photo policy. <laughs> so this is out behind that building. Another big courtyard. I'm now behind that building 
and I'm going to do a 360 of the courtyard here. Looks like over there goes into another courtyard. So I'm going to go see what's behind the next gate. This is inside and off to the right courtyard where they have this building. This is the center courtyard inside of those gates there. And this is the right courtyard I just showed you a minute ago. Look at all these doors. They have them open. But that is a lot of doors. <laughs> There's that building again behind the tree. This is a bronze cauldron. I haven't seen many cauldrons in my life. It's full of water, a few coins, and actual paper money inside. <laughs> I guess it's collected rainwater, I assume. This is the central courtyard. There are numerous historic photos on the walls here. I don't know if I have time to even look at all of them. All the way over there, they also have a collection of historic photos all along the walls. So this is the left courtyard. And over here is all sorts of reading material. Boy, you could spend all day here and maybe not read everything. <laughs> A lot of this is remains from after it was somehow maybe destroyed in the war. Don't know for sure. And here is a whole other set of courtyards <laughs> in the rear of the complex. These are some interesting doors. These are all individual doors, like this. Going into the rear central courtyard and that looks interesting over there I'm gonna go see what that is next this must be the famous golden dragon that a lot of buffet restaurants are named after <laughs> well he actually looks like he's smiling maybe he's a nice dragon behind that is a purple flower garden And in the middle is another cauldron. It is almost full of water. And some dongs in here. I wonder how many dongs that is. <laughs> there are dongs everywhere in Vietnam, if you know what I mean. And over here, to the far left corner, is a tennis court. That seems a little unorthodox for a sacred place. <laughs> I'm going to go up into this gazebo. Get a good look around the courtyard here. There's the purple flower garden and the cauldron in the middle of it. Well, not quite in the middle, but... <laughs> if you really want to take your time and learn the history here, they do have a headset that you can get for various locations. It tells you the details, some kind of narrative about it. I didn't get one of those. Oh, what is this? 
Is that supposed to be a turtle or something? <laughs> I think it is. That is a turtle bush. And over here, very nice tree trimming and a bit of, bit of a maze here. And let's see what this is in the middle. Doesn't say anything, but it looks like maybe they burned something in there. This is the far end of all the courtyards. Another gazebo there. Looks like this gate here would crash in if you blew on it too hard. <laughs> right there. <laughs> this is inside of one of the other buildings. I don't quite know what's going on here. These two ladies, <laughs> I think they're pretending to be honored somehow. And she's posing in whatever you call those. Oh, I see. Well, I am not going to buy a ticket to do that. <laughs> I don't care to wear the royal clothes. Well, folks, I don't really know what any of this is about. <laughs> and I guess I don't care enough to spend hours to find out. But it is a very interesting and attractive place to visit, for sure. This is the Tomb of the Emperor, which is in another part of the city. It's a really big place though and the first thing as you go in you see this lake with the rock walls around it and again they have these if you want to know all the details about the place. They want you to take off your shoes to go down on this wooden platform here. <laughs> and this whole park is all about the tomb of the emperor. Did she take her shoes off? Yep, got her socks on. <laughs> Guess that's a sacred wooden platform. So now we're going to go up here and see the temple. So this is the courtyard up those steps. I just went up. Another cauldron. This is a small cauldron. Oh, nice bonsai trees. Here's a really nice one. This is what's inside. So right here is the altar for the emperor and also the official wife over here. You can see two volumes inside. Now we have to explain the And this This is a separate building where they have these displays. This is called the theater. And this is another place where you can rent royal clothes and sit on the throne. They have these statues leading up to the tomb. So now I'm going to go up into the tomb building. Well, this is it. There is the tomb. Or actually, the burial grave is in all that concrete. This tells about it.
This whole park is for that. <laughs> Got a couple monoliths back here. Now let's see what that is. And up in there is another entryway, which has the big courtyard. And this structure, whatever it is, and behind that is this. Well, now I find out that this is the grave. And what I saw before, that tall thing, that's just a monument. <laughs> that bridge we just crossed took us out to this island, which is mostly a fishing village. That's a pile of motorbike tires that they use on the fishing boats. The guide told us, I forget exactly what they use them for, but it's good they make some use out of them. Is that a sea moon? <laughs> on a little land area that goes out in there. Here's some nice huts. This is that big building you saw off to the right. I don't know one single word in Vietnamese. <laughs> so I have no idea what that means. We've got this platform going out to it. You can barely see the clouds touching the top of the mountains there. It's a quaint little village. By the way, the name of this place is La Pan Laguna, is what the guide told me. And there is a cafe, if you need to know <laughs> more exactly about it. So we're going to take off now. Wow, look at that cemetery. That is huge. It's a lighting store, apple store. The tail is the local mobile phone service. Folks, here's the famous rice patties of Vietnam.